Hello friends, this video on fiber and fabric part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now uh, we will take example of sheep because they are the most common wool animal to understand the entire process of obtaining wool. Now the first thing that we do is taking care of the sheep because these are the animals which are going to give us something which is important to us. So it is very very important that we take care of these animals. So that is what is done under rearing of sheep. So what do we mean by rearing? Rearing involves uh, feeding the sheep properly, taking proper care of them, maintaining good hygiene so that they do not suffer from uh, any kind of diseases. So it's like uh, overall taking proper care of the animals. Now sheep generally they are herbivores so they mostly feed on uh, grasses, leaves and plants so they are herbivores so they are directly dependent on plants. However, they also feed on uh, pulses, corn, grains, dry fodder. These are also some of the uh, food items for sheep. It is also equally important to maintain proper hygiene because if proper hygiene is not maintained there are chances that they might get infected with some diseases and uh, that would make them ill and also that would reduce the productivity of wool. Now the next thing that needs to be taken care is the breeding of sheep. When we talk about breeding, we talk about uh, the good quality sheep which needs to be mated so that good the new sheep which are produced, they are also of good quality. So sheep are selectively bred to produce good quality sheep. Now what do we mean by selective breeding? Selective breeding means we choose the good quality sheep and then we allow them to meet with, mate with each other so that the offsprings which are produced, they are also of good quality. So, what are the qualities that we are looking at in a ship? So, we, we, see, we check, see that the ship formed, the new ship which is, which is being produced should have thick hair growth. Now, different types of ship will have different types of hair on their body. Like some ship might have coarse hair, some of them might have fine hair. So, the parents are specifically chosen so that they can give birth to a ship which have good quality soft hair to obtain wool so that that's how like we should have the requirements clear in our mind what kind of ship do we want so that it can give us good quality wool depending on that we are going to select the parents because what happens is every offspring will resemble their parents in some or the other way so we need to make sure that we allow mating of good quality sheep so that we get good quality sheep from which we can obtain good quality wool so now let us look at the entire process by which wool is processed. So we got to know from which animals we get wool and how do we need to take care of those animals. Now processing of wool is actually a multi-step process. So it involves a lot of steps. So it starts from obtaining it from the skin of animals but directly we cannot use that skin of animals for making sweaters. So it needs to be processed and there are a lot of things that need to be done before it is uh, obtained or before we receive them as the wool yarns in the shops. So the first step is shearing which is followed by scouring, sorting, burr picking, dyeing and finally rolling into yarns. And the wool yarns is what we get in the markets. Now once we get them then we start waving them to make sweaters, clothes, jackets and so many other things. So let us understand this entire process step by step. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.